How you doing? This is Hash Guide from TheCryptoist.com. And on this YouTube channel, I show you, the average person, how to use cryptocurrencies and blockchain applications. Okay, and when you're done with my videos, you will be able to teach your parents how to use cryptocurrency dApps as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, share this to your favorite social media platform, leave a comment, and turn notification bells on. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys what Uniswap.org uh, decentralized exchanges. Okay, we're going to go over all the features and I'm going to show you how you can buy a token at the end. Let's begin. Okay, so this is uniswap.org official website. If you are ever using a DeFi product, make sure that you look up in this address bar and it always states the official website. If it ever says anything different otherwise than the official website, then recheck what you're going to because it could be a uh, a phishing scam okay uh, just today there was two decentralized exchanges that was hit with the DNS hit hack um, hackers were able to use the DNS of pancake swap decentralized exchange and cream decks also and what they did was um, they they point that website that DNS towards a malicious website that ask users for their private key or the the uh, seed phrase for MetaMask is going to look like a MetaMask screen but um, really it, it's not no application ever no person ever ever will ever ask you for your private key will ever ask you for your seed phrase if anyone's asking you for prompting you for a seed phrase or a private key other than you just installing a program or trying to import a wallet then you are again fished and do not fall for it if you are not sure go to Google Go to a chat room, ask around before you spend that money because you will not get that money back. This isn't centralized banks where you can complain to get the money back, people. So make sure you take care of your keys. Make sure you are very cautious when you use DeFi projects and new projects especially, okay? Don't be one of the first few to get scammed or whatever. Just make sure you do your due diligence and you do your research, uh, whatever you got to do, Reddit, Google, ask around, you know. Uh, pay attention to the big Twitter accounts, whatever. Uh, just make sure you are cautious with your money. You don't want to have a bad experience and then leave the crypto space. And then five years later, you find you know all the cryptos are up you know ten thousand percent. All right. So make sure you are always always verifying the website or links that you click on. Don't ever click on a link from a random person on Facebook, Twitter, or anything. Uh, this is very important. Don't ever click on these links unless you know this person's uh, legit. Uh, if you see someone on YouTube or Twitter often, they're not going to ruin their reputation for a bad link. So those links are safe to click on. But if you get some random person throwing you out this link that looks looks funky or uh, says make free money or free Bitcoin, that's not possible. Okay, you, everything in this world takes an investment to make money it takes money to make money and that's the truth all right nothing is for free you might go to a faucet and get micro micro fractions of a penny but um you won't get free bitcoin anymore okay so you gotta do your work you gotta put the money in you gotta put the investment in you gotta put time in you gotta do the research okay if you don't do all this trust me you will eventually lose money or your keys and you will be upset and sour and you will get out of the crypto space and regret it five ten years from now all right so let's get back to using Uniswap Decentralized Exchange, all right? Um, you know, Uniswap, they, their 24-hour uh, cap, uh, market cap is nearly at $1 billion, guys. All right, that, that's pretty good for decentralized exchange on the Ethereum network with high gas prices. Now, with, with the Ethereum uh, upgrade coming up with the cheaper transaction fees and everything, um, this uh, trading volume is going to explode all right so uh, stay tuned they have a, a uniswap version 3 that's going to be coming out along with F, uh, F layer 2 all right uh, ethereum layer 2 so make sure you stay tuned for that all right today we are going to go over the uniswap application so uh, uniswap.org and then we click on use uniswap all right if you really want to get into the details you can go to documentation read the faq i know it takes a long time to read some of these things but if you plan on using an application, sometimes it is really worth it if you don't know how to use them already. These uh, videos help, but I and other people, we always tend to leave some things out 
that could be important to you. All right. So always do your own due diligence. So we click on that. It's going to open up app.unisoft.org. And um, you need MetaMask or uh, a Web3 wallet. Um, I, I haven't used any other wallets other than MetaMask. And Nifty, Nifty is a MetaMask clone. So um, this is the initial site you are brought to when you click on the app. Right? It's going to ask you to connect to a wallet. You gotta have MetaMask installed and unlocked, and you connect connect to the wallet. Now, um, it's gonna ask you for permission to use certain addresses. Uh, you have to do it if you're gonna use this centralized exchange. So, uh, if you look up top in the left right hand corner right here, uh, you see swap. This is where we swap uh, tokens, um, native to ERC, 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 uh, whatever. Uh, pool. This is where you put your uh, liquidity in, right? If you want to put your own token or a token that's not on here yet on for trading pairs on Uniswap, you are able to, all right? You go to pool and you just follow these instructions, guys. We'll do this in another video. We'll do a liquidity provider uh, in another video, but I'm just showing you the features of this uh, Uniswap decentralized exchange, all right? So what you would do is you create a pair and add, add liquidity. I haven't done it myself yet, but like I said, we will be going over that in another video. All right. If we click on uh, Uni, this is uh, liquidity mining. All right. This is when we put our, our tokens in and we receive a uh, percentage back in Uni. Um, voting, uh, governance, you know, uh, every project should have it. And charts, you know, very basic stuff. Mostly people come here to use the swap, okay? Because, um, like I said, it's almost that 1 billion trading volume, 24 hours. There's lots of uh, new projects, not new, but there's lots of tokens on here that's not on other exchanges. So, um, yeah, well, let's cut to the chase and let's get right into it, guys. So I have my address plugged in. I'm going to connect to Wallet. And here's the, cha uh, here's the options that it gives you. MetaMask, Wallet Connect. Coinbase wallet, Fortmatic, and Portis. All right, uh, we will go over other wallets uh, in this channel coming soon. But for now, um, if you're new or if you just want to begin in DeFi, MetaMask is your best option, guys. All right, so it's going to ask you connect your account, so connect the account that you want to use, and then connect. And like I said, if if that screen pops up. And if it's asking you for your private key or your seed phrase, don't do it. Trust me, you will lose all your money. All right? So now that you're connected, you have your address up here. You verify that it's your address. At. And let's begin. All right? So I have some Ethereum that I want to trade for Centropy. All right? Centropy, whatever. And the symbol is NOIA. I read from someone on Twitter and did my own research after reading and I like this one and I'm going to buy some. So go back to the interface and let's find it. All right. So uh, if you try searching for it, it may not show up. If it doesn't show up, uh, there's either two things. Someone added a custom token, which you have to search for by address, or if you come down here to manage. There's multiple token lists, all right? So you have all these lists. You can turn them on one by one, or if you know which one you want, you turn it on. Or if you're just searching in general, turn them all on, whatever. You can do whatever you like. Uh, tokens, this is where you add your custom token. You can put your address in for the custom tokens, all right? So I'm just going to go to list, and we are going to turn Let's see if uh, it's in here first. All right, so here it is. Here's what I want to use. Oh, look, all right. So it's going to ask you to import that token list instead of having to go to manage and, and turn them all on. So we're going to import that. And as we can see right here. Uh, now, a good thing to do when you're trading, especially with new coins, right? Maybe not an established project that, that's been on uh, an exchange for a while, but if you want to be very sure before you spend money or if a lot of money, all right, take this address right here and go to etherscan.io and see 
if that is the correct address because people will be making fake tokens mimicking other ones uh, real ones all the time guys all right you want to be very careful with a lot of money in an industry comes a lot of bad actors all right and why is that working all right so if you look over here token tracker this is the NOIA token all right it's reading the price and everything so we know this one is real so let's go back to interface it's gonna say right here trade at your own risk anyone can create a token including creating fake versions of existing tokens that claim to be represent projects if you purchase this token you may not be able to sell it back now that's just stating basically what I just went over if this is a fake project that's mimicking a real one okay that's why we always verify the contract address it takes literally seconds guys so if you can save money um, by not getting scammed do it all right if you are unsure about anything in the crypto world if you're a beginner do your research Google ask someone go to telegram anything all right discord so it's gonna ask you to import the coin there we go and um, what you can do is you can type in the amount you want to spend uh, the balance is right here that you have uh, of this token this balance or you can hit max and it's gonna give you the max you can but uh, you can't really do this if you're trading ETH because if you do max it's gonna ask you for a transaction uh, fee and you do not have it if you do all of it so you know you just gotta remove a little bit so I'm not gonna buy that many um, let's just buy 500 for now okay so as you can see here uh, it tells you the price per token what this is all right that's all live real-time stuff if you look down here maximum sold that's um, the maximum ETH uh, maximum right here including the fee I'm assuming 1357 yeah it's including the fee uh, price impact with some ERC 20 tokens on decentralized exchanges the price impact is very large okay you don't want to be buying tokens that it's 50% because you're spending more or you're making less on the trade uh, because the impact is so large all right and this is the liquidity provider fee now that is if say we went to pool and we put up our liquidity for someone else to, to uh, trade that's the fee that goes to that person all right and also you can view pair analytics and it's going to bring you to a new screen Base, basically it brings you to a chart and all the information I uh, used to take your as now nah, you you guess whatever all right, so on Uniswap info, it tells you all the token pairs right here. All tokens. This is the pairs and top accounts. All right. So Uniswap is a great exchange, uh, decentralized exchange to use. Uh, if you have a brand new project and you don't have any centralized exchange, any big exchanges yet, you can always add your own liquidity to a decentralized exchange guys that's what is amazing about these um, you know centralized exchanges will always be there but decentralized exchanges is uh, groundbreaking um, it's just amazing I hope you guys like this video if you found it useful at all please hit that subscribe button I'm sorry I'm all over the place I'm still you know getting back into making the videos but make sure you hit that subscribe button and you check out my new website the cryptoist dot com all right well cryptoist.org they both lead to the same place and make sure you share this channel and the website with to all your favorite social media platforms guys and uh if you have any questions comments concerns leave it in the comments